Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for the new moon that's occurring on June 28th or 29th, 2022. So this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the sort of overall collective energy, uh, the numerology for the collective, which of course affects us all or has the, the potential to influence each of us. And then we're going to break it down into how these energies could influence each individual life path number. Okay, so looking at this illumination, the two most prominent energies being illuminated for this new moon are the energies of the 22-4, which is master level energy, and the 5. So these two energies can actually create a very complementary, sort of expansive, very beneficiary, uh, but very beneficial synergy when they show up in a cycle together. So a lot of times when we think of master level energy, 11, 22, 33, 44, etc., we tend to think of maybe like a lot of challenges or a lot of, um, it tends to be a little bit more difficult of energy to move through, but the triumphs are um, just as grand as the potential challenges, right? However, Usually that's when we see it in uh, more like life path energy or in a uh, predominant energy throughout your numerology chart. When we see it come in as a cycle, 22 energy can actually be very, uh, very forthcoming. It can be very, very beneficial energy. It can shower us in abundance. And basically it can be this sort of culmination of all the effort and energy that we've put forth um, coming to fruition now. And so it can, when we see it come up as a cycle, it's typically very big, um, powerful, abundant energy. And really, um, a lot of rewards can come through with this energy. So it's, it's really quite beautiful to see it come through in a cycle. And, um, especially if you've been dealing with like four energy or anything that's been slow moving, seeing this come through in a cycle or an illumination is beautiful <laughs> uh, and very welcomed. That's not to say that, you know, challenges and whatnot might not come up. Of course, it's still master level 22 energy. So it's always possible. And of course, it depends on where in the cycle it's falling for you. So if you're at the end of a cycle, then you'll see things come to uh, culmination, come to fruition, and you can sort of be showered in those rewards. If it's the beginning of a cycle for you um, and sort of like that um, germination or, uh, or gestation sort of uh, initiation period, then it could be the start of a journey that could have some challenges and that's okay too, right? Because again, the effort that you put forth will, you know, determine sort of the rewards at the end of the journey. So anyway, I just want to mention that because a lot of times when we... Um, when we say there's 22 or 11 or 33 or whatnot energy, it can create a little bit of anxiety just because sometimes that is equated to a little bit more challenging energy. But in this site, it's again, it's a cycle, it's an illumination. So um, has the potential to be beautiful, abundant energy. And then we couple that with the five, which is just, again, just very big, fast moving, expansive, abundant um really freeing energy. And so it's just incredibly beautiful put together. So again, just creates this, this very, um, powerful synergy, uh, that I love to see. So I'm excited for this illumination, to be honest. Um, so this is a fantastic time for big, huge dreams to come true now. As a temporary vibration, again, the 22-4 implies completion on a grand scale in a very tangible, sort of emotionally fulfilling way. So this isn't lost somewhere in the ether. This is an energy that's just an idea. This is fulfillment or success on a huge scale. And again, sort of reaching those very real practical goals now. 
So, and again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to affect everybody the same way, but it does have the potential to bring this, uh, this level of fulfillment, this level of, again, culmination, which is incredibly powerful and beautiful. Uh, so we all have the potential to sort of reap these rewards. Um, so this is a great time for making those dreams a reality. And that sounds really cliche, but really this is just such fertile energy to do that, that it, you're either, again, could potentially see this come to, uh, your dreams come to culmination now, come to fruition, reaping those rewards, reaping that, you know, bringing in that abundance, um, or this is going to be a time to really, really initiate, really get started on those big dreams uh, and turning them into some kind of something tangible, something uh, within the reality. So this is going to be something that you would have been working on. For those of you that this comes in as some kind of culmination or fruit, uh, something come to, coming to fruition, this is going to be something that you would have been working on or with, um, with a lot of dedication and a lot of perseverance. And that persistence is paying off in a very tangible way now. So because this is a new moon, which again, often symbolizes gestation, inception, planning, or starting something new, it is again, very possible for some that this is the beginning of the process that will push you towards accomplishing those big dreams and goals now. So for some, you are now being asked to make the big plans, dare to dream big and bring those secret desires into the spotlight and make something of them now. With this master level energy of the 22, this isn't something that comes easy necessarily or without us sort of being at the helm of our own ship. We take full responsibility for navigating the stream, where we want it to go and, you know, how we want it to be built. And it's our responsibility to see it through to fruition. So if we can do that, and if we continue to feel the fire and feel the fire and move towards that and overcome any obstacles that we face, then we can reap the rewards and the wisdom with an accomplished spirit, knowing that we created something tangible from the ether by following our inner compass and our wildest dreams to make it happen. So with that said, 22-4 energy is an energy of collaboration, okay? So this is going to be a time for working with others, sharing ideas with others, asking for assistance. That's a big one, especially with 22, four energy that can be challenging for four energy as well. Um, it can be challenging. There's a lot of, it's a very independent energy. And so it's very much wants to sort of do it its own way. And, um, again, it has the vision and it thinks it knows how to get to that, that end goal. But, specifically with the 22-4 energy, it is a collaborative energy. And so it's kind of like to be able to meet these big lofty goals. It's not something that can be done independently. It's something that has to be, um, it's sort of, it ha there has to be more energy around this, if that makes sense. So this is, this is not something where it's like, you're going to be, um, sort of, hold up on an island somewhere. This is going to be something where you need to recognize your own sort of limitations and ask for assistance or guidance when you feel you need it, right? So it's not, there's no sort of reward with this energy for um, swallowing or, you know, being very prideful and being like, I'm going to do it all myself and I'm going to do it the right way or whatever, right? You know, this isn't, this isn't a very like uh, ego driven energy, right? So it's kind of like if we are driven by our ego or full of pride and are, we know we need to ask for assistance, but we fail to do so, we're just not going to hit the mark. We're just not going to be able to produce this big lofty energy that the 22 sort of demands. And so again, it's going to be about really a lot of, um, inner work as well to recognize our own limitations and recognize where we don't have all the answers. We don't have all of, uh, you know, everything that we need necessarily within the physical to be able to create whatever this is. And so again, it's going to push us to ask for assistance, ask for help, ask for guidance where we need it. Again, we're not meant to achieve something this grand on our own for solely our own benefit. 
the integrity of whatever this is will need to come from you, but you are not meant to do whatever this is alone. So share your ideas, learn something new. Uh, you know, we will be both the student and the teacher under this energy. So we are meant to embrace it all and recognize it all, right? With the added influence of the five, we know that change, flux, and transformation are all possible at any time under this illumination. So the key here is to be as adaptable as possible. If your sort of big tangible reward comes in, but looks different than what you had expected, that doesn't mean the overall benefits are diminished in any way. Broaden your scope of acceptance now. How can you find ways to work with whatever you are being presented with now? The five energy also brings the expansiveness, the wide open fields to run and play and explore. With this big, you know, expansive energy comes the tendency to sometimes fall into extremes and self doubt can also creep in and we can, you know, become overly restrictive, right? We can fall to that extreme where we've got, again, just sort of that overly restrictive tendency, or we can fall to the other extreme of overindulgence and sort of scattered energy. And so moderation, again, is always going to be key with five energy. So find ways to, you know, be a kid, play in the clouds while also staying grounded. This is also very practical energy, but very emotive with the double twos. So again, with 22-4 energy, we have those double twos. So this is very, very sensitive, very emotive energy. So you may find that you feel sort of hypersensitive at this time. Honor those emotions, move through them, but manage them so that you're not reacting from a hyper-emotional space that can sometimes create unnecessary rifts with others. Communication can work wonders during this time. So the strong charge of emotions can sometimes cloud the reality of what is actually taking place or what's actually being said. So use discernment to better understand what's actually occurring, sort of the reality of the situation and sort of what's happening through the lens of charged emotions. Be able to decipher between the two and then work with that energy appropriately. So overall, collectively, this can be an incredibly abundant, successful, wish-fulfilling period, whether you're reaping the rewards of your journey completed or you're sort of getting the green light to fully embark on a new one. So make the most of this fantastic cycle, because like I always say, the energy can be present, but it's what we do with it that makes all of the difference. Okay, and before we get into the individual life path numbers, I did pull an animal spirit message for this illumination and we got moose spirit. And I love this because moose energy is bringing with it this energy of like engagement, boldness, and commanding attention. Um, if you've ever seen a moose in the wild, you know, they actually say that moose are one of the animals that you should be the most sort of not afraid of, but aware of because they sort of spook very easily. And when they get spooked, they sort of, um, they are sort of driven by their emotions, right? That fear or whatever. And so they can, um, they can create some damage, um, not necessarily with the intention of doing so, but just because they got spooked, right? Um, and so it's one where you, if you see a moose in the wild, you really need to create a lot of space between the two because they are very fast runners. They, again, they will command your attention um, and they will protect their space, right? Especially if they have young, which is with any wild animal. But What's interesting with this energy is again, we have engagement, boldness, and commanding attention coming through. And so what I'm really getting with this is again, this energy of the 22, four of this is big, bold energy. This is, this is not energy where it's, you're just sort of complacent and just sort of idle and sitting back and just, um, letting these, whatever these rewards are, whatever come to you. This is, these are things that you have sought after you have went after, right? Like you have really pursued and you have um, been ambitious about and persistent about um, this is, this is the rewards for your efforts. And so again, if you are somebody who is um, sort of at the end of this cycle, and you're seeing things come to fruition, then you can expect 
the rewards, the um, sort of reaping a harvest uh, in direct proportion to what you have sown, right? And so again, if it has been done more independently, then, you know, there's going to be some limitations there. And so again, what you reap is going to be equated to what you've sown. But if you, if this, if this was a collaborative effort, if this was something that, you know, you were open to other ideas, other perspectives, uh, integrating those ideas and those perspectives and that experience and wisdom, into your journey, into the project, um, then again, it just adds to the energy and adds to what you could potentially see come in uh, to fruition. Now, if you are starting a cycle and you've got this, this 22, four energy uh, and the energy of the five behind you, then I would take Moose's message to heart again, embracing that boldness, that commanding attention, meaning that you're a driving force in this, this project, this vision, whatever this is, like you have to maintain the integrity behind whatever this is. This is your seed. This is your vision. This is your baby, so to speak. And so you are at the helm of your ship. You have to decide what direction it moves into. Now you can get, again, guidance, assistance from the Coast Guard, right? Or from other ships and boats, right? It's a um, camaraderie, right? It's like a a collaboration of sorts. But at the end of the day, you are the commander, you are the one in charge. And so you will reap the rewards of this energy. But again, it's going to be in direct proportion to um, the efforts put forth. And so again, if you've ever seen a moose in the wild, and even if you haven't just you know, watch a video of them. They, they have a very commanding presence. Um, they're these massive, especially full grown bulls. They are these massive creatures, um, who are not to be underestimated. Right. And that's really the energy of the 22, uh, to be completely honest. And then you've got the energy of the four, which is very ambitious energy and very determined and, um, persistent. And so just a lot here about, you know, getting that fire lit beneath you and grabbing the reins and being very commanding about what it is that you want and how you need to get there and not being afraid to ask for help and uh, assistance, right? You know, swallow the pride and go for what it is that you want at this time. So definitely, uh, if you feel sort of mild or timid in your approach, then just think of moose energy and sort of, again, that commanding energy. So, okay, let's take a look at each individual life path number now. Life path number five. So this is potentially going to be an incredibly beautiful time for you all. This is a energy coming in for fives that really is about growth, blossoming, really bearing fruit. So a very fertile, promising time in your life. Again, where you can see things really coming to fruition now, especially if there are things that you've been working towards or really dedicating yourself towards or focusing your energy on. I will also say that it's very possible because it is such a sort of uh, fertile time. And again, it can be metaphorically or it can be quite uh, literal. So you may also um, become pregnant at this time or find out that you're having a baby or grow your family or whatever the case may be. So if that's something you're not interested in, then I would say take extra precautions to um, make sure that doesn't happen. Because this can be an incredibly fertile time uh, across the board for fives. So just be be very aware of that. Um, but again, this is a very, it has the potential to be, right? Because again, this is a general reading, but this has the potential to be an incredibly fulfilling, emotionally and physically fulfilling period in your life uh, with this illumination. So again, this can be the start of it and you can kind of see how that's transpiring or you can kind of see a lot come in now in a big, big way. Um, new close partnerships are very much favored at this time. So new friendships, new romantic partnerships, um, new colleagues, you may change jobs, something like that. You may start contracting with somebody, um, but this is going to be like almost sort of like finding your people type thing. Um, whoever comes in at this time, pay attention because it's very, very possible that they will be 
in your experience for quite some time and that they could potentially have a very big impact on that experience. So collaboration is definitely highlighted for you fives at this time. Uh, and also assistance. So if there's something that you, again, if there's, if you recognize somewhere where there's a limitation and you need assistance, this is the time to ask for it. This is the time to not only ask for it, but also receive it and to do so without shame or anything that we sort of tell ourselves that we should have been able to do it ourselves. No, this is a time for collaboration, for being open to ideas, um, for that collaborative freedom, that expressive freedom, creative freedom, all of those things. And sort of like, you know, the fun thing about this and like fives, I think sometimes thrive off this energy anyway. But uh, the beautiful thing about this is it's like the more sort of people you bring into this, you know, a creative project, the more energy and expansive that comes with that, right? So you get even bigger ideas and bolder ideas and under a 22-4 energy, especially a cycle. Uh, this is the time for that for and then it's combined with five energy. So it's also combined with your own sort of energy. This is beautiful time for that is basically what I'm saying. So this is the time to network, to again, collaborate, to share ideas, to share wisdom, to get excited about those big ideas. Even if you don't exactly know how they're going to transpire yet to get excited about it and to really feel that energy. Uh, and to, again, to ask for assistance. This can be a time for a tremendous amount of wealth for fives and prosperity and your goals being met now. So again, you have this, this energy really working for you at this time in a big, big way. And again, if you are somebody who is sort of at the beginning of this cycle, then it could be that you're start these ideas and everything are starting to come in and the resources and all of that. So you can see how it's going to unfold. You can see how it's going to um, play out in a sense in your mind. And so you can kind of have the vision and you just have to hold it knowing that it's going to take persistence and perseverance and all of those things. And there will be some challenges to overcome and all of that because it is 22 energy, but to hold the vision in your heart and to know that the energy you put forth is going to be in direct proportion to the rewards that you receive. So again, uh, if you're just starting out here, it is worth the effort that you put forth if it has, to, if it's, you know, if the fire is behind you, if it's something that really speaks to you. And for some of, again, for the others of the others of you where this is something coming to culmination or fruition, this is potentially going to be a time for great wealth, prosperity, and your goals being met. Um, this is a time for your innermost dreams coming true now after you've met delays, right? So if there's something where, again, you've been really working toward it, really pushing for it, striving for it, really trying to make it happen because you felt the fire within to not give up, um, but you felt like you've been facing delay after delay after delay, this is the energy where you can see those delays fall away and finally those tangibles coming in in a very big way. So I hope it's a beautiful illumination for you all. Thank you so much for listening. Take care, fives. Bye for now.